Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Of course I have another 7 Days to Die video for you guys today. Now I thought I would cover all the new animals that are in 7 Days to Die because it's most likely one of the first new things that you are going to encounter in Alpha 16. Um, so there's a lot of new stuff. Of course the old stuff is still here. Uh, that's the deer and the rabbits and the pigs and the zombie dogs um, but and the bear. And there's so much new stuff to show you guys though um that i'm gonna show you guys uh basically when you can kill it how to kill it the easiest way what it's gonna give you as far as good loot and uh when you should run away so this is a new rattlesnake in the game as you saw um it's pretty easy to kill from a distance with a ranged weapon it's really cool it's a rattlesnake you see the rattle on the end it comes out you with its mouth open which i thought was really cool it's most likely to get you when you're running through the desert uh, and you're just not paying attention. So it gets you about the same as a rabbit does, which is two meat and two animal hide. Um, the next new animal I think is really cool, this is one of my favorites, is the vulture. Um, as you see, it looks really cool. Uh, this is going to spawn in the desert, in the burnt out zone, and in the destroyed zone. Um, and basically, it's going to come at you. And it could make a first swipe usually and not hit you. So you don't have to worry too much about it. And like I said, this is experimental. So it did lag my game for a minute. Uh, and I ended up stepping on the cactus. That's what's going on there. But look, it's really cool. It's gross. It's got like all kinds of sores on it. Um, but it kind of does like mess up your game a little bit. It's still a work in progress. But I really like these guys because you get about 40 feathers from each one that you end up killing. And then the next new one in the game is a wolf. Um, and it's not as bad as a zombie dog, really. And it gets you a good amount of meat. I think about 10 meat. But it will bite you. And this, the first time it bites you, it will make you bleed. But if you notice, it's best to get a little bit distance away so you can line up a shot. But it'll catch up to you. You really can't run away from it too much. Um, but basically, if you let it come up to you, it can only bite you once. As of right now, the collision detection is a little off in the game. And I'm going to show you where bears and wolves and stuff, they will actually kind of glitch through you and glitch through blocks so that you actually don't get too hurt by them. Um, and that actually, I think that got me about 11 meat. This is the dire wolf. There's two different kinds of wolves in the game. If you see a pack of these guys, don't take them on because they are more ferocious and do more damage than the regular wolf. At night, their eyes glow, which I thought was really cool. Um, but as you can see, the sneak, the sneak um, feature in the game now really works out pretty well because you can get... You can sneak around these guys, really, if you want to. You saw I shot it and didn't even come after me because I was a certain distance away. But if you egg them on, they will come after you. And they run straight, so you have time to actually shoot them. Um, and this one actually gets you more meat than a bear. Um, and it's a lot faster to kill, which I thought was really weird. They, they might change those ratios because it's still early in the game. But I just thought I'd show you guys that that actually gets you more meat than a bear. What I was going to do was jump on this rock, but I didn't have to. I ended up dying before I needed to. But just in case, I was going to distance myself a little bit. Now, the bear is in the game before, but it's bigger and scarier this time. It's huge. They've made it huge. But if you see, I built up... Uh, wood frames. I was kind of sneaking around it. It didn't come after me. They don't really come after you unless provoked. But what I wanted to show you with these wood frames is that right now, and this is experimental and could change, but right now they glitch through the block there. So now this is two blocks high, and I really didn't even have to fill it in because they don't do damage to the block. They kind of glitch through it. They're not hitting me. I'm not getting hurt. And it really gives you a chance to just kind of kill the animals. So if you really want to kill a bear, this like little setup here is like the best way to do it. But like I said, the dire wolf got me more meat than the bear. Um, this bear only yielded about seven meat. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but it was at this point in my game that I realized that also because of experimental, the smell is not working. Right now I'm holding on to raw meat and the smell buffer that attracts zombies to me. Normally carrying raw meat attracts zombies. That's not working. So take advantage of that. Like for now. Because like I said, things will change. The next new animal is the boar. And now the boar I thought was pretty cool. And when I was thinking about it, um, I couldn't really... I didn't know where to find one. I hadn't seen one. So they spawn in the... Um, 
in the kind of grassy area, not the forest, but the other grassy area. And because it's a boar, I kind of knew that it was going to come after me, and I didn't know how bad they're going to be or fast, so I stood up on a rock, and it really wasn't necessary. This is pretty much just the pig with more hair on it, um, but it does yield a little bit more meat than the pig, but uh, it's about the same size, same everything. It just kind of will run after you because they're a little more aggressive than the pig. And the last but not least, the zombie bear. The zombie bear was in the game last time, but it's got a complete overhaul. It's bigger, it's scarier, it's meaner. Um, it, you have to do more damage to it. And what I like the most about it is the same thing with the vulture, is just that its whole body is like rotten and nasty looking, which I'll show you a closer view. But if you see one of these guys, just run. They don't get you any resource. They only get rotted meat. Um, it really doesn't help you out, and it takes about 30 steel arrows just to kill the thing, which is crazy. So just run. I was, I, I had countered one of these in my video the other day, and I was able to get up on a roof, so I was lucky enough to not have to deal with it. But literally, just don't even. Just try to get away from these things. Um, you, you really don't want to deal with one, especially if you don't have, like, a high-powered weapon, uh, because it's just going to end up getting you killed. But like I said, then look at the detail on this. It's got the bones, it's got the rot, it looks like it's got an infection. It's pretty nasty. Uh, it's, I thought that this was really cool. Uh, this guy I've only seen in the destroyed zone, so I think he only spawns in the destroyed zone, so you won't have to look out for him too much, too many other places. Um... But yeah, like I said, some of these guys, they glitch right through the wall. You see, he didn't even damage the wall. So right now, there's different there's different problems with different things. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this video. Um, uh, let me know what you think of the new animals. Comment down below. Let me know what you think was your favorite. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm loving this new update.